are you, Fred? Oh, man. It's good to have you. This is going to be a fun week. I think it is going to be a good week. You get a little confused. You thought you're supposed oh, to be with the band. I thought I was supposed to. But no, it. no, no, no. You're over here now. Oh, yeah. Cool. And uh, you now, I want to tell you something about Fred. Uh, most of the time, people come on the show. There are nine or ten things they ask us not to talk about. Fred has none of those things. So we're going to have a good week, right? That's a beautiful thing. It's going to be a good, good time. So, all right. And, and I believe we have a number of topics to cover. Yeah. But all we right. won't cover them right now. We'll let them wait. We're going to be a lot of people week. here. We're permitting. There are a lot of people. There's I like about that. 200 people. <laughs> and um, we have a big show tonight. We have the, uh, the Smothers Brothers are here. Which Ooh, you know the Smothers classic. Brothers? I love the Smothers Brothers, so it's going to be a good show. Yeah. Carolyn Murphy is here. She's an actress. We've got a um, like a, a 400 pound yo yo artist is going to join us. And also Flogging Molly, which is a great. Live to an Irish bar. You're not wearing green. Oh no! That's what we're <laughs> no, no, I'm Actually, wearing. Mario, green. I got some green. On. You do have some green on. What do you got? Oh, okay, I don't have. No, if green. you watch that, it turns back to the normal color. I, I, I was referring to the stains in my. Oh, I see. I see. You get the comes out green. Yeah. yeah tomorrow, mine will be that. All right, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Right there. Durst, yeah, a good time. It's St. Patrick's Day. Most of the audience is juiced. <laughs> Nothing an ABC can do about it if you come here drunk. That's, Absolutely. That's I think a lot of people about. started really early today. I think so, too. I think so, too. I was at, uh, they had a K-Rock event at uh, Dublin's starting at uh, 6 o'clock this morning. I was there earlier this morning, and um, actually we have cameras there right now. Let's go to Dublin today, Irish bar here in Los Angeles. Uh, a lot of good times, I'm guessing, going on right now there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that flock of young lilies. Look yeah. at that one. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a guy? <laughs> they, can, they can hear us. <laughs> oh, they can? Yeah. I'm okay. not sure what's going on. Hi there, how you doing? Can you guys hear us? Yeah. Uh -oh. Can they see us? <laughs> I don't think they can see us, no. This is going to be a top-notch interview, I can tell right now. All right, let's take a look around the bar there. Let's see if we got uh, somebody that uh, can hear us. Can you guys hear us? Well, how about the young lady who just put the earpiece in? Can she hear us? Yes. What is your name? What's your name? Hi. Oh, yeah, this will be great. Can you hear us? Hi, how are you? Can you hear us? Hello. Hi, how you doing? What's your name? I can't hear you. All right, can, why don't you step outside where it's a little quieter? Can you step out to the front of the bar? Step <laughs> Did I miss something there? No way. Um, yes. Okay, yeah, step out to the front of the bar. Oh, that's good times. What's going on there? That's all right. What's your name? Hello. Hello? Hi, what's your name? Is it Marley Matlin by chance? I think so. You can't see it? Well, here, it's St. Patrick's Day. Are you Hello? Irish? Are you Irish? Can you okay, hear me? I think I can hear now. All right. What's your name? Never mind. Are you guys talking? Uh oh, there's your girlfriend, Fred. Um, yeah, uh, so what we were wondering if you'd like to do, since it is St. Patrick's Day, yes. is um, take a shower with some Irish Spring. We've got a shower set up. Let's have a look at that. Can we see the shower? Oh, that's a great Wait, idea. Wait, even the camera guys can't hear me. Let's take oh, wait, a look. I can hear yeah. you. There we go. We have a little shower set Lovely up there. Shower. Yeah, and if you wouldn't mind, why don't you jump in there and take a nice uh, festive Irish Spring shower for us? What do you I say? Was, I thought I was taking it with you. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, what I like you to do is heat the water up, and then I'll jump in. <laughs> All right. All right, so do you think that, uh, that that's possible? Uh, is the water going to be warm? It is. It'll be nice and warm, I think. All right, yes, it'll be. Take it off well, and get in wait there. a second. Do I get yeah. paid? Do you know Fred Durst? Yes. Yes, well, he's here, and he's asking that you specifically, he specifically asked for you to shower for us. But am I getting paid? Absolutely. <laughs> I like her style. No. Uh, yes, yeah, you'll get no. paid. Sure. How much will it take to get you in that shower? Uh, minimum. Yeah. yeah well, no. Give us the maximum. Give us the maximum. Five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks? Yes. All right. Yeah. Get in there. All right. What the hell? It's not our money. Yeah. Get in there. This. No. No. We'll take care of it. We'll take it. This will be on Walt Disney. <laughs> So step in the shower there, and um, yeah, and there I we go. Believe you we got it all. Just step like right this. in that shower there. Is there anyone there working that could point her in the direction of the shower? Yes, please point her in the shower, and uh, this will be good times. Okay. Yeah. She's what, what's cute. all this? Yeah, she's very cute. What's that? What's all these microphones? 
Yeah, just get right in there. I'm gonna get electrocuted, am I? I, I think the idea was that she'd yeah, be covered, but that doesn't look like that's going Okay, all right, so here we go. Yeah, you're gonna take off the clothes, or how's it gonna go? Yes. Okay, yeah, fantastic. Have at it. You have to take off your clothes to really let this soak. I know, you do. I hope that's, uh, I always shower naked. It's one of my things. All right, there goes the thing. I hope Leno isn't doing the same thing tonight. <laughs> That would be embarrassing, you know, they beat us by a half hour. All right, so let's position that camera properly. Yeah. So that, yeah. She really is Good taking times. her clothes off. And, and why don't we, uh, yeah, get those clothes out. Boy, I take my clothes off a lot faster than that. And you know what, if you're gonna strip for money, you're gonna have to do it a lot quicker in the future. All right, and there we go. And let's turn the water on. Top two, top two. Yeah, just. Turn the water. Oh, oh wait. Five hundred dollars. Oh, she still got the top on, huh? Yeah. She just did the pants off. Yes, and there we go. Oh. <laughs> I can't hear anything you're saying. Just turn on the water. Yeah, there we go. And is it warm? It's freezing. I lied then, I guess, huh? There's your Irish Spring. All right, and shower away. There Whether you her go. mother's watching, or her boyfriend, or her brother. Yeah, especially her mother, I think. Well, cleanliness is next to godliness, and you know, mom always loves me to shower. All right, well, there we go. We got a young lady showering at Dublin. And let's check back in with her. Let's check back in with her. <laughs> you, know, you know, fortunately for her, the original idea was that she was going to shower with my cousin Sal, but he has strep throat, so we left him at home. But I think it's better this way. How's the shower? I dropped the soap. All right. Well, we'll leave it right at that. We will, well, we're going to check back in with this, and we'll be right back with comedy greats, the Smothers Brothers. <laughs> In 1967, the year I was born, our next guest changed TV forever with their groundbreaking, troublemaking variety show. As a boy, I listened to their comedy albums over and over again. I'm really excited to have them here. Say hello to Dick and Tommy, the Smothers Brothers. <laughs> It is, yeah. I mean, I, I am uh, thrilled to have you here, and I know my parents also are thrilled because they had these comedy albums at home, and I would listen to them over and over and over again. And they were. You did. You were watching, did you? And you know Fred from that? You were watching no, the No, but I know his brother, Will Durst, of San Francisco, wonderful political comedian. Uh, That's not the, true. It's not your brother? It's not my brother. But there's a wonderful. Very His name good. is Will Durst, and he's a great comedian. He's a great comedian. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're an audience. Yeah, maybe. The albums, yeah. they're now. Fred, do you, are your albums, uh, they come out on, on LP? Yeah, yeah, we put it on vinyl. There's, there's a lot of, believe it or not, a lot of DJs that spin yeah, you know, they like to, uh, yeah. vinyl stuff. And it's sort of retro. It's very retro. Yeah. Supermodel, and yeah. you are, um, further evidence of a supermodel is your boyfriend is uh, a rock star, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, I think that it's par for the course. I mean, it seems to be a very popular match. That's what Fred was saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Have you dated Fred at all? I'm feeling that. No, I haven't. But I did see Britney a little Have while ago. Have you dated ago. Dick or Tom? <laughs> No, we're not. That? We've never so gone out with supermodels. You have not? I, I don't know, yeah. You, you've never I, dated a supermodel? Fred, have you, have you ever? I've ever dated a supermodel? Yes. There you yeah. go. Yes. A couple bunnies. The way. From Limp Biscuit, here is Fred Durst. <laughs> Didn't you just grab both his ass cheeks? I did, darling. I know how to hold on. <laughs> I'll see you after the show. 
Uh, do you get that a lot? Do you get uh, you have o many older fans? Yeah, we have like from age eight to age eighty, probably. Really? No, have you really, really met like an eighty-year-old fan? I mean, besides your own family members? No. No. <laughs> Well, the honesty is refreshing. Yeah, and you have some tattoos there, don't you? I've got a few. You do? Some you can see, some you can't. Let's really? See, let's yeah. see one. Some What's you a, don't want to. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing Yeah, that most of them probably fall in that category. But um, <laughs> uh -huh. what are they of? Ooh. Pardon? What are the tattoos oh, of? Oh, I've, I've, a little bit of everything. I've got Harley wings you don't even want to know about. Yeah, really? Um, I've got some flowers. I've got oh, a couple boy. of cover-ups. I've wow. got my children's name on me. And all, all of a sudden, things. I'm really glad my grandma's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, we were sad and everything at the funeral, but if, if I knew it, it would have come to this, you know. Hey, yeah. June Cleaver, I'm not. I guess not. No, more like Neat Cleaver. There you go. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're going to, uh, um, we have, uh, oh, Kevin Nealon is here tonight. He's Sweet. a real funny guy. And we have, um, uh, from the Spice Girls, Jerry Hollowell is here tonight. Mm. Do you know Jerry or no? I do. I've met her a couple of times. Uh-oh. All right, all right. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. And uh, Supergrass, the band, is here as oh, well. That's going to be a good that. time. And of course, we'll have uh, we'll have Sylvia standing by with her tattoos in case things get slow. <laughs> and Fred, we have uh, something I think you're going to like. We're going to play a little kind of a game show type of thing when we come back. Good, that I think you're going to like it a lot. I'm All ready right. for that. All right, Fred, you guys Durst ready for here. that? <laughs> Fred Durst, before the break, we're talking about how the network news organizations are going to be able to afford to cover the war since they won't be running any ads. And um, we're testing this plan. I want you to take one more look at this and uh, see if, th if this looks good to you. Goodbye. Now, Fred. I thought that was all right. <laughs> was all right. <laughs> one of the reasons we want to have you on the show is because, um, like me, you have trouble getting along with people. And also, you're very yeah. honest and forthright about things. Okay. So what I thought would be a fun game to play is I would hold up pictures of famous people and you just give some thoughts on each of those famous people. Like thoughts, one word, a quick word. Whatever thought, you think, whatever anything. you think. Yeah, whatever you think. All right, All right. and let's begin with this young lady. Uh, Brittany, uh, I believe that's Britney Spears. Do you know her? Are you familiar with her? I think I'm familiar with her. Yes. Yeah, she's... Uh, She's pretty hot. All right. All right. She's pretty hot. I agree with that. Next, we'll go to Ozzy Osbourne. Your thoughts on Ozzy? I think Ozzy's uh, very, very funny. Very funny? Yeah. Intentionally or unintentionally? Unintentionally. Unintentionally. All right. All right. Now, let's, uh, that's uh, Carmen Electra. You dated uh, Carmen Electra, right? Yes, I did. All right. And the verdict? The verdict is that she's very hot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's see. Who's that? Oh, look at that. It's, um, I Who believe that's that? Britney Spears. Oh, it is. That is Britney Spears. Yeah. Now, have you met her? I think I know her. Familiar a little. You are familiar a with her? Bit. You like her? Or what, how's, how are I things with I her like right her. now? She's, she's hot. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about her? I mean, uh, what about George Michael? George. Now, your first song, uh, hit song, was Faith, right? Yeah, we covered Faith by uh, this man right here. Have you met him? Um, I haven't met him, but he's very hot. Okay. <laughs> Next, uh, oh, Courtney Love. Any thoughts on Courtney besides the hot thing? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's see. How about uh, Eminem? Do you know Eminem? I do know Eminem. You like him? Yeah, I do. You guys get along? Okay. I think he's really talented. Who else do we have here? Oh, Jonathan of course, Davis. Jonathan Davis from Corn. Very I know very you like cool. Jonathan, right? I like Jonathan. Oh, well, Jonathan's look better, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, and there must uh, be something in this pile coming up. Yeah. yeah well, we're, we're let's see what else do we have? Oh, we got Trent Reznor. Do you know? Do you like Trent Reznor? I actually, you know, I do like Trent Reznor. You know, he had a problem with me, but I actually. Oh, he doesn't like you. When you I, like I was him? I was flattered that he had a problem with me because I'm a huge fan of his. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Next, uh, Christina Aguilera. Uh -huh. <laughs> you made sweet love to her, did you not? Uh, you know, I I I did not make sweet love to her. You do something with her? You know, I think she's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who do we have here? Oh, that's Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah. She is so hot. Really. Ah. Real or fake? She seems very real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we have? Oh, um, Lorenzo Lamas. 
Any thoughts on him? Uh, I don't know him. You don't know him? Okay. All right. That's Britney Spears. Whoever that is, she is on fire. Well, you should give her a call or something, you know? No way. You should? She would never talk to a guy like me. <laughs> I'm not her and type. And finally, Uncle yeah. Frank. Have you and my Uncle Frank been hanging out at all? Because yeah. I know that was the plan. There, there's a bond with me and Uncle Frank. And yeah, I there is. That, uh, I it's... think I might take him out tomorrow night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, by I'm all means, you must bring the cameras if you take him out. We will. Wait. Yeah, you're going to go, Uncle Frank? Sure. Are you up for yeah. anything? Anything. Really? Is, anything. He, is this, are you going to wear what you have on? Yeah, if you want me to, sure. That, that'd be cool. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, whatever you want to dress him up. Would you get a tattoo, Uncle Frank? No. No? No, no tattoo. You said anything. <laughs> no, I'll wear it. I won't wear a tattoo. I'll would, wear one if it comes off. Would you agree to go in a public restroom with George Michael? Who is he? Oh. <laughs> no. You would not? No. All right. All right. Girls, well, I want girls. Oh, you want girls. All right. Want girls. Well, yeah, we're going to girls. line up some girls. Yeah, maybe you guys call that Britney Spears. Okay. And I think she's got a little sister for Uncle Frank, too, right? Older sister. <laughs> right. An older mother. An, an older mother. All right. Hey, maybe we'll hook you up with Sylvia over here. Okay. What do you think, Uncle Frank? All right. All right. We got back with everybody's favorite Spice Girl, Jerry Hollowell. Fred Durst is here with Uncle Frank. Fred Durst, our first guest tonight, is an author, an actress, a former Goodwill Ambassador to the UN, and most notably, a former Spice Girl. From All American Ooh, Girl, here is Jerry Hollowell. Is a really good one. Um, it's got lots of eye candy for well, the boys. You, you look really hot. That's your great. Well, thank you very See, this much. This is how he does so it. You over like there. your yeah. that word hot. Everyone's hot to you. You better watch out. You're going to wind up in the stack. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be too careful with no. Fred. There. You, know, you, you, you I mean, Actually, we were at a party together, weren't we? Yeah. Do you remember that one? Whose party was You were it? dancing on the speaker. Every time they play in the club by 50 Cent. Yeah, he was oh, really? really on rocking. The you were on the speaker? He was on rocking. Was that in Vegas? Yeah. yeah. Where, 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 whose party was it? It was um, at the Bellagio Hotel. Do you remember? It yeah, was I do remember kind of a little bit of that night. Big hip-hop music playing. Was he with a girl? So he had lots of girls kind of coming up to you. Yeah. yeah. He was kind of, yeah. Why the hell didn't I learn how to play an instrument? Do you know what, though? If I was, like, someone like you, like, the rap rapper kind of cool, I'd be the same. Really? You know, I'm a girl, so I'm not like that, but I, I'd be probably kind of having loads of chicks around Well, you've dated a lot of famous guys, too, If right? I was a guy like him, I'd want to, you know, do Britney and all of those. <laughs> If I was and I could, I would. Because she, she's that. hot. It's funny you mention that because she is hot. She's very hot. And you, I read in the newspaper the other day that you were, you were talking about some lesbian thing that you did. I, huh? Do you know what? What is it with boys and lesbians? We love them. <laughs> do you know what? You know what it is? It's because instead of one naked girl, it becomes two, two of them. Two naked girls. Yeah, and that's better. And four boobs. Yes, and Rather ideally than four, two. four boobs. Yeah. Uh, have Rather you ever do you know, had a threesome? Uh, no, I haven't. Have no. you? No. Oh, oh, come on! Come on! Stop your rock and roll image! I'm okay, but he thought you lie. He thought you meant today. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> you're, you're a happily married man, aren't you? No, I wouldn't say that either. I saw you with a hot chick on the red really? carpet. She yeah. was a babe. Yeah, yeah. She had like long dark hair. Yeah, that's hair. one of the Olsen twins. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever dated the Olsen twins, Fred? No, one of them is really hot, though. <laughs> I'm going to find you a new... What's another terminology you can say when she's cute, she's hot, 
What, what's another um, word? You need a new I word. I don't know. What's the, I don't know the new lingo. This is what I started she, the night out with. I'm trying to stick with the okay. thing. She's a stone Hot. fox. I think that's what a the kids fox. are saying. Yeah, Ooh, right? <laughs> She's <laughs> fine, as Cleta would say. You've got a lot of tattoos, tattoos, haven't you? I do. Ooh, well. Look at that one there. The, what is it? Hey, honey. Host over oh. here. Host is over here. Do you have any? I got a lot He's of tattoos, a too. He's a co-host. You've got to share the wealth. Yeah, but listen. If he shared the I wealth, I'd be a very happy man. The wealth of my ass. Look at this you stack, can, you for can. God's sake. Let's look at the look people at he's stack. had sex with. I mean, for God's sake. Uh -huh. she, she's a babe. Yeah. Uncle, he's hot. Uncle Frank's not Uncle bad. Frank. All right, we're going to go through the stack, and we're going to come back with uh, Jerry okay. Hollowell, uh, Fred Durst, and... What? Look at what's going on over there. You know, my... Uh, Fred's making his moves already. Right. <laughs> 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 no, we've Sorry, you're gonna you carry be in the, on. Sorry, you're going to be in the picture next. Yeah, she, gonna, <laughs> Jerry's nah. pregnant by Fred already. Just from this. <laughs> He's that so far. <laughs> but you know, the tattoos are really a conversational piece, aren't they? Do you they? have any? Yeah, sure. They are. It's like, hey man, how you doing? Well, let me see her. I yeah. I have tattoos. And people go, that's really cool, but they would never get it done. Mm. You know? Do you have any? I'm speaking. Tell that to Sylvia. Yeah. Well, a friend of mine, was. Uh, she's debating whether to get her belly button pierced or get her stomach stapled. <laughs> she doesn't know which one to go, you know? Do I talk a, do I talk a What is your dog's name? Actually, it, I'm actually dog sitting. Oh, this, you are? This is uh, Mr. George Michael's dog called Hug. And oh, he, he, she thought he'd come and say thank you to uh, Fred for singing Faith. Ah, hmm. oh, look at that. That's really George Michael's dog? It is. How can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was from the pound. She was going to be put to death. She was two days from putting to death, and uh, she got rescued. And George Michael skipped and in there and he, saved her. Exactly. <laughs> did he go? Did he go and do that himself? Did he get the yeah. dog, or yeah. did he send an assistant no, to do that? No, That's a good place to get dogs, by the way, at the pound. It is. They, they yeah. do euthanize a lot of and dogs. She's so grateful. You. You're right. Yeah. She must say hello to you. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's a <laughs> you do kisses. What she is your dog's like name? Hug. Hug? <laughs> yeah. Really? Hug. All right, it could be something a bit more like Jeff or Rex, but yeah, no, no one names their dog Jeff. I don't know what goes on in, in England, but no one here names. Whoa, her. Do you have any? Pets? She's getting away. She's getting away. <laughs> she does do tricks. George, sorry, we lost your dog. Oh, wouldn't that be Somewhere something? Kim will show. What a turn this would take. We had to go then find a duplicate dog or else George Michael would get angry, you know? <laughs> He's home at midnight. We've got to get another dog. Do you have a dog? Do you have your own dog? I have a dog in England called Harry. Really? And yeah. you, who watches? Does my George mom. watch yours when he's there? No, my mom does. Fred, do you have any pets? Um, American Bulldog. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you trained to kill and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, he's trained <laughs> to kill. Yeah. I yeah. have pets. Uh, Jerry, you once lived with, which Spice Girl, you were Sleepy Spice, right? Oh yeah, completely. Which one of the Spice Girls were you? I was Ginger. You were Ginger Spice. Yeah. And do you get upset when people call you Ginger Spice no, now? Not at all. No? You don't care? You don't Fred mind? and Ginger. Yeah. Hey, you got Fred there and Ginger right there. No, um, no, it's fine. You know, I'm this really SOB Fred, he just sits there quietly and then they're attaching themselves to him. <laughs> You'll probably wind up in bed with the dog too. That would be dope. <laughs> I'm very proud of, you know, being part of that group. Now I would be where I am.